the ultimate farmer. I don't watch the show at all. I'd much rather be at home. We need new symbols. By the way, I don't recycle either. WWE, WWE Divas Champion, the great one. Why would I watch the show? Welcome to another episode of Greatness of Wrestling. Two-time Divas Champion right here. You can watch my victory on the newest episode of Total Divas. Thank you very much. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we have a lot of things to talk about. We're going to talk about Dean Ambrose, Kofi Kingston, Charlotte Flair, worst WWE wrestler of all time returning to the company. Wait a minute. I thought that Nia Jax is on the roster. No, it's actually worse than Nia Jax. Maybe, maybe not. I'm not quite sure, actually. I'm not quite sure. But I want to start this video by saying this. You can have your opinion. Every wrestling fan deserves to have an opinion. However, if you say that Monday Night Raw is better than SmackDown Live, you deserve a stink face from Nia Jax. Honestly. As a punishment, I'm gonna let you watch this video, enjoy this video, and the next time you say that Monday Night Raw is better than SmackDown Live, think about this video and who knows, maybe you will change your mind. Thank you. So who is this wrestler that is returning to the WWE? It's not The Rock. It's not Batista, it's not Hulk Hogan, it's not CM Punk. The brash one disagrees, CM Punk is returning to the WWE. It's not CM Punk. It's actually... Uh, it's actually Eva Marie. Yeah. Eva Marie is in talks with the WWE. WWE even uploaded a video a month ago of superstars that we want to see returning to the WWE. Not quite sure why they think that this is the case. Whoever said, man, I wish I could see a one more Eva Marie match in the WWE. No one ever said that, uh, but apparently WWE thinks so. And now there are rumors that Eva Marie is in talks with the WWE. It's, a kind, it's kind of a shame. She is threatening Nia Jax's spot as the worst WWE wrestler on the roster. I feel sorry for Nia Jax, honestly. She's the worst wrestler of all time, and now we have a threat. My man, this is this is getting serious. Eva Marie said, There has been emails and talk and exchanges back and forth. There has definitely been talks for sure. I don't know how I feel about that. She's like the worst women's wrestler of all time. But then again, I don't mind her returning to the WWE because she could be a stunt double for Becky Lynch. Whenever there is a risk for Becky Lynch, Eva Marie can replace her. So, that's a great idea. Hopefully WWE are listening. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Let's talk about Charlotte. Flair. Many of you guys know that I paused my Raw and SmackDown reviews for a time being. I will make them later this month or next month. I'm not quite sure, but they will return to the channel for now. I'm just gonna talk about them in my Greatness of Wrestling videos. Anyway, Charlotte Flair replaced Becky Lynch in a WrestleMania match. If Becky Lynch wanted to remain in that match, she had to apologize to Triple H and Stephanie McMahon. She apologized, but still got replaced by Vince McMahon. We all need a uh, Charlotte Flair. No, Vince. Uh, you need Charlotte Flair. We're okay, actually. We're actually pretty okay. Here's the thing, people. I'm a fan of Becky Lynch. I'm a fan of Charlotte Flair. I'm a fan of Ronda Rousey. Kinda equally. I don't care. There are actually few opinions on this situation. I personally would be fine with Becky Lynch versus Ronda Rousey. It's a one-on-one -on -one match. People want to see it. People don't want a triple threat match because Charlotte Flair is kind of a third wheel. But listen for Hedamaniacs, there are also a lot of positives. First of all, Charlotte Flair is a great heel right now. Probably the biggest heel in the WWE at the moment. And it makes Becky Lynch even more likable. She's a babyface who's gonna defeat all the odds to become the women's champion. Ronda Rousey is a champion. Charlotte Flair is a spoiled brat. And Becky Lynch is a babyface face an underdog it reminds me of that wrestlemania 30 main event where we had daniel bryan as becky lynch randy orton as uh, ronda rousey and batista as charlotte flair that's the weirdest comparison i've ever made actually sorry one thing's for sure a triple threat will be a bit more fun to watch now i've said it before i would prefer a one-on-one -on -one match but 
it is what it is. We're not gonna make WWE change their minds. However, the dumbest thing I've seen on Twitter is people acting like this is all real. People, believe it or not, there are people who don't know that Becky Lynch is going to be in that match. People are buying into kayfabe. People, grown ass people, think that Becky Lynch will not be in that match. Charlotte Flair actually replaced her. So they are sending Charlotte Flair death threats or whatever the case may be. Of course, it's not serious, it's the internet who gives a crap. But they really think that this is legit. Vince McMahon just screwed Becky Lynch. People, I don't know what to say. All I can say is that I really love the fact that McMahons are getting involved. It makes the storyline a bit more legit. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And if I could have a one wish, I would wish for Eva Marie in that match. Fatal 4-Way, the greatest match of all time. Eva Marie for women's champion. Undisputed. Oh my god, I cannot believe he said that. No, this was also a joke, by the way. So, yeah, don't, don't hate me for this. And now I'm joking that I'm joking. I really want to see Eva Marie as the undisputed champion. The ultimate farmer. I don't watch the show. Why would I watch the show? The farmer in the dell. The farmer in the dell. Hi ho the dairy -o, The farmer in the dell. In this ultimate farmer segment, I have no stories. I have nothing. I'm turning into TMZ. Yes, this is the highest quality journalism. People, you'll, you'll be shocked. You'll be shocked from what I found. I found this picture of Alexa Bliss. Not a normal picture, not any picture. Take a look, take a look. Do you know where this was taken? This was taken in Brock Lesnar's house. Yes, there's a pig, there's a bunch of animals. It's Brock Lesnar's farm. As a highest quality journalist, I can confirm that Alexa Bliss is having an affair with Brock Lesnar. Wow. Oh my god, guys. This is crazy. Jesus. Hi ho the dairy -o, the farmer in the dell. Kofi Kingston is the man. Every person on SmackDown Live in that arena watching at home just gain even more respect for Kofi Kingston. This is what I love about SmackDown Live. We have different shows. When was the last time we seen something like this? And it shows you how simple it is to make someone likable, to push someone. You know, yes, maybe it doesn't make a lot of sense for Kofi Kingston to defeat Samoa Joe, a Jeff Hardy, and even the WWE Champion Daniel Bryan. Maybe that's a bit of an issue that WWE Champion is losing all the time. Maybe that's an issue. But then again, it made Kofi Kingston look very, 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 very strong. Like I've said, it goes to show you how simple it is to push someone. It was a great booking decision in my opinion. And now if Kofi Kingston would be in a WWE Championship match, I wouldn't mind it. I, I really wouldn't mind it. Of course he is in that match, but I'm talking about a one-on-one -on -one match. Kofi Kingston looks like a legit competitor to me right now. And yes, I would love to see him as the WWE Champion. People are tweeting about it, people are talking about it, how Kofi Kingston needs to be the WWE Champion, but the unfortunate thing is, he probably won't be. This is WWE, Kofi Kingston is the WWE. Old news, he's in a tag team, it's just, it's reality. <laughs> It's not gonna happen, I, I don't think it will. I would love for it to happen, uh, but it probably won't. When it comes to the United States Champion or the Intercontinental Champion, please make sure to do that. You can have all three New Day members as United States Champions. This is the first time I care about New Day in five or four months, so great. It, like I've said, it goes to show you how simple it is to push someone. Dean Ambrose apparently is a babyface right now. Seth Rollins cut a boring promo on Brock Lesnar. Dean Ambrose interrupted and said, slay the beast, obviously referring to Nia Jax. So Dean Ambrose wants Seth Rollins to slay Nia Jax. Obviously makes him into a babyface. 
So yeah, that was a good exchange. Actually, one of my favorite parts of Money Nitro, maybe the only part of Money Nitro that I actually liked. I don't know if it's because I know that Dean Ambrose is leaving the WWE. I don't know if it's actually better, but I love current Dean Ambrose character. Just a guy who doesn't give a crap. But let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Do you find Dean Ambrose entertaining right now? Is he actually entertaining or is just us? thinking that he's entertaining because we know he's leaving. He won against EC3 with a roll-up and I think it was a double turn. I think Dean Ambrose is a babyface and EC3 is a heel right now. And if they think that EC3 should be a babyface, I, I have no words, my man. I have no words, I hope he's a heel. The same thing with Bobby Roode. The fact that Bobby Roode is a babyface is absolutely ridiculous. So hopefully they're not gonna do the same mistake with EC3. And let's end this video with a little bit of Batista. There are actually two major rumors. The last time we seen Batista was on SmackDown 1000 in an Evolution reunion. Now, there are rumors that Batista will return to the WWE. According to Pro Wrestling Insider, the animal met with officials at WWE headquarters in Stamford last Thursday. We've been hearing these rumors for like the past two years actually. I remember even before I was making Greatness of Wrestling uh, episodes, I was talking about Batista returning because back in the day I used to make news videos. Now it's highest level journalism. Oh my god, I cannot believe what Alexa Bliss is doing in Brock Lesnar's bed. <laughs> but that's not all. There are also rumors that Batista is going to AEW. Yes, I'm sick and tired of talking about AEW because I don't know which rumors are true, which rumors are not. It sounds kind of weird because we never had real competition with the WWE. I don't know. Basically, there is a picture of Chris Jericho and Batista. Is it 80s? I'm not quite sure. But there is a big possibility since Chris Jericho is in AEW and Batista wants to return to the ring. Batista openly said that he doesn't like WWE's current product. I know it's ridiculous to talk about these rumors just because of a picture, but then again, two busy guys just met for no reason. Kinda suspicious. We will see what this brings. Anyway, thank you for watching this video. Hopefully you enjoyed I know the intro changed again, but I cannot risk my man. I don't know if I will get a copyright strike. I cannot risk my channel for a good saxophone song. I, I, I have a different saxophone uh, song right now. If you don't like the intro, try to watch it two or three times and maybe it will be catchy. I'm not quite sure. Hopefully you enjoyed. Thank you for watching this video. As always, the brash one, two-time Divas champion, the great one. Peace, love and hugs.